So here you are now. Your parents are locked up. You're living with your with your aunt and grandmother. They don't have a lot of money, so you have to start figuring out a way to make money. Mm-hmm. So what do you start doing at this point? Uh, shit, hidden uh, hidden legs, bipping cars. So, so uh, bipping is something that's kind of unique to the Bay. I've never heard that term outside of the Bay. Describe to me what bipping is. Uh, it's like it's like basically like like car burglary, like breaking in people breaking into cars. But you would seem like it's petty, but me being from San Francisco and living in San Francisco, it's like a tourist. Like we're the one of the biggest tourist attractions in, in the country, so. It's like we got a lot of tourists that come with a lot of money, and so it was like that was the thing, like car, burglary, somebody's car. Like I didn't seen people have a hundred thousands in cars, ten thousand. A hundred thousand. For sure. What would you find in that car that'd be worth a hundred thousand? Not you cash. personally. I'm telling other people. Cash. You have Someone cash. would have a hundred thousand in cash in their car. To this day. I don't know. I just tagged you, and it, it was a uh, a Rod yeah. just got hit for five hundred thousand. Yeah, I saw that DM. Yeah. Well, oh yeah, his car got broken into, and they took half a million out. There was half he a million. Got five hundred thousand worth of stuff in his like car. His jewelry, like watches. Or something. Yeah. So it's like big on that, like, like it's kind of like in the last two years, like you probably like see it all over the news. Like if you search it up, San Francisco and Oakland. It's like, that's all they talk about. They got every food restaurant, anywhere you go, and it's a tourist attraction. They got signs like, do not leave valuables in car. Hmm. Like, showing none of that. Okay. So, take me through the process of bipping a car. Mm-hmm. Like, like, take me, like, how do you know which car you're going to target, and what's the process of actually doing that? I mean, back then, it was just like, we was just bipping like fancy cars like Benzes and you know like expensive Audis and you know Porsches. We was targeting cars like that and then it started getting into like where I know people this is like they job. Like they never had a job in life. That's all they do is bip. <laughs> That's and, a career. And like okay. I said, I didn't see like I've known people that hit for a hundred thousand cash and like I probably say the most I ever hit for, I ain't got that lucky. Probably like fifteen thousand, but it was like I had to split it with like two people. Okay, so do you walk by the car and see something in the car? Yeah, it'd be like a bag, a purse, okay. uh, you know. Like I said, we the tourist attraction, so got it. it's like that's just like a crime for us to do, like, you know. Okay, so you walk by a car and you see like there's like a Louis bag in the front seat. Mm-hmm. Right. So then is it just a smash and grab, or is there more to it? Nah, I mean, at first, it was like, it evolved. First, we was using spark plugs, you know, like spark plugs for a car. That really works? When you hit a spark plug in a window, yeah, it smashes? You break it, you, we used to break it into pieces, and like, when we was young, we used to tie it to shoestrings, and like have it in our little corner pocket, and uh, just take it out on a string and hit the window, and it, the whole window would shatter. So people were telling me the other day that if you throw pieces off a spark plug at a car window that it'll shatter. So we're about to test it out. Oh. It's fake. Oh shit. I guess it's not fake. <laughs> I've seen a video of that and there's always like everyone's arguing whether it's real or fake. No. That's a real thing. You take no. a piece of a spark plug yeah. and you hit. That's when I was like round 14. I was I was bipping like before my parents was incarcerated. I probably started in like twelve because that's what everybody was doing in in my city. Like, so it was like a thing to do. Okay, and when you hit that window, the whole window just shatters. Shattered, but now it was like and then well, like hold, hold, hold on, let me just ask a question. Along with that window shattering, there's a loud ass noise. Nah, sometimes a spark plug. It's like I don't know what it was about a spark plug, <laughs> but when you throw it, the car alarm don't go off. Really? Yep, unless you open the door. So the whole thing about bipping is it's silent. So you uh, hit the uh, window with the spark plug and 
grab what you could grab by reaching through the window and not opening the door. Aha. Uh-huh. Okay, so you had no, you didn't even want to steal the car or nothing. Nah. It was you just, you just want what's in the back. Exactly. You're not even going into the trunk or nothing. You're just going nah. whatever's in the front seat. Okay. Did you ever get caught bipping? Uh, yeah, I'll probably say like 17. I caught my first bipping case. Okay. And what'd you get sentenced to? Uh, I went to jail for about like two months. And uh, that was only like the only jail time I did for it. Because I was still a juvenile, so it was, you know. And like, bipping was a misdemeanor. Okay. Back then. So now it's like, it's so, they had to like make it a felony now. Aha. Uh-huh. Just to try to stem the the wave of bippers. Exactly. Like okay. People's going to the penitentiary now. Okay. Your friends over here are laughing. <laughs> you get locked up for two months for bipping. Mm-hmm. And it's just a misdemeanor, though. Yeah, this was back when it was a misdemeanor. I'd probably say uh, 2017, beginning of 2017, 18, it was so like many cars getting bibbed like they just had to make it a felony like people you go you go to the state pen now for it so mm-hmm. you do so many you could go to the state pen so got it penitentiary were you tried as an adult or still as a juvenile no i was a juvenile, juvenile. so i okay. so i did the two months got on probation 